Hey everyone, this is Too Big Kim from TooBigWomenOnTheCouch.com, and I'm here with my good friend Kelly. Uh, she is known as Fat Girls Rule. She's a member of the TooBigWomenOnTheCouch.com website, and she also is a YouTuber, has a very wonderful website on YouTube, a nice channel called uh, Fat Girls Rule. And uh, you'll find her doing all kinds of things, straight talk and uh, tutorials for makeup and all kinds of things. In fact, Kelly was one of our very first members to join us on Two Big Women on the Couch. We've been talking about a lot of topics that interest us, so we're doing the split screen technology today to talk about fat-friendly places. And Kelly, I'm going to let you talk about movies, I guess, and we'll talk about a couple of these things. Why don't you start with how unfriendly movies can be for fat folk? Um, let me see. Um... You know, I know uh, all of us know this. I mean, it's no big secret that a regular movie theater is um, very close. You know, they're very tightly packed, like sardines. And, um, you know, whether you're top heavy, bottom heavy, whatever, you know, it's going to be uncomfortable sitting arrangements. And, um, yeah, yeah, it's not it's not cool. And um, I, I find myself going to... Um, there's not very many of them in the United States, but they're called fork and screens. Hmm. And they're kind of like, you know, um, like first class for the movie theaters. And um, they're bigger seats. They're individual seats. So, you're, you know, you have space in between each seat. Um, you're going to pay for this, you know, 15 to $17. There is no wow. reduced prices. Um, you can have your dinner and stuff in there, and they bring everything to you. They completely cater to you. But, um, you know, you're going to pay more money to go see a movie to be comfortable. And it's like, it just makes me so mad because most of the population, a lot of the population is overweight. Um, you know, they're, B, they're BBWs or they're big, handsome men. And we deserve to um, be uh, to be able to get out and go do things and um, be able to, um, you know, just, you know, if you want to go on a date or something or you want to hang out with your girlfriends and you're the only BBW, you know, it really bites that, you know, you know, you're, you're going to be, you might be embarrassed that what if these seats are smaller than the other ones, mm -hmm. you know, or, you know, I mean, you really don't know what size of seats you're going to get. You don't know if they're going to have the seats where the arms lift up, so you could let, you know, some tushy spread out a little bit more. Um, you know, it's just, it's extremely unfair, and it's discriminating towards us because of our size, just so they can make extra money and pack people in there. So then we have to, you know, go to, um, you know, to more expensive you know, the fork of screens or whatever, which a lot of people are not offered that. So, you know, I feel really blessed to be able to um, at least be able to do that and um, have more comfortable sitting arrangements. Wow, that's interesting. I hadn't heard of the fork and screen before, so thank you for that tip. And I'll have to look around the Seattle area and see if there's anything uh, like that. Because um, I know it's, it's uncomfortable for people um, to just be in those little tight seats. And then the folks around us, you know, very uncomfortable for them. And I've had people look over my shoulder and, and you know, kind of figure out if they need to look around me or move to another seat or, or what have you. So, right. um, And when I go to movies, I always have to find my end seat. I always sit on the end. Uh, and, the, right. and the armchair has to come up. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm a person who's large, very large, but, but can fit in the seats. It just is uncomfortable, you know. My thing, though, yeah. uh, outside of the movies, uh, uh, one of the things that I really struggle with are airplanes. I travel and have traveled oh, quite yeah. a bit, you know. And uh, coach is not meant for anyone, like, over, like, a size very small because even the thinnest people yeah. are uncomfortable in coach seats. So I always buy first-class tickets. Cost me a fortune, but I always end up getting first class tickets. And first class seats are huge. I mean, they're like really comfortable and all, but it's not fair because I spend so much more money. And you know, some of those airlines want to try to charge fat people um, double seats, double, double, whatever, double ticket seats or whatever. I don't think that's right either. So it's, no. a, it's a real challenge, yeah. Something we've talked about, uh, Kelly, maybe you can elaborate on this a bit, is when we go to restaurants. And, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That, um, if I go to a restaurant, first of all, I do not want to sit in a booth because I don't want to be, I don't want my, like, my stomach to be smushed. I don't want my breast sitting on the table. <laughs> you know, it's, exactly. it's kind of embarrassing. Exactly. I do not want a chair that has arms on it. You know, want to be comfortable. Um, you know, and if they, if they don't have 
have these things, I will turn around and leave. I will not tolerate it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when this first thing when I walk up there and I tell my friends, I'm like, we're getting a table. And I will even check, maybe even like check the restaurant out because sometimes I'll have pictures of the restaurant on like uh, websites. Mm-hmm. And, um, and just be sure that it's going to be comfortable for me because I'm not going to be embarrassed or feel intimidated to go to somewhere where I want to go have fun, where I want to spend money, I want to spend time with my friends, because I will just go somewhere else. I refuse to squeeze into anywhere and to be uncomfortable. I will not give them my business. Um, they, you know, if I was to open a restaurant, any, or even just like a coffee shop, I would make sure that my sitting arrangements fit every size of person that they're not we're not using some little crappy dollar store plastic chairs that you know they're metal chairs they don't have any arm sides i mean how difficult is that it's extremely easy to think about um you're gonna have some you know you're gonna have plus size people coming into your business and wanting to um whatever spend time with friends or family or go on a date and you know it does it makes me worry when i go to um somewhere to eat I will usually try to check it out or I will run by there look inside there if it is not suitable for me um I will not give them my business and I'm not going to sit and torture myself so you know you know just to make anybody else happy if my friends are all thin then they're just gonna have to get over it because I will leave I have no problem with it you either um you know you need to be more fat friendly establishment or you're not receiving my business period well i do the same thing i always try to check out a a restaurant ahead of time and try to get the appropriate seating and uh if they say well we don't have any tables available because i don't mind those what i call those half booths like where where there's the booth side the table and then the other side where where the booth actually moves i don't even mind a booth if the table moves a lot of times those booths are hard um press to the wall you can't move the 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 table and that that to me is doesn't make any sense because they're they're built for like the skinniest people and uh so but i do check it out ahead of time because it can be very um anxiety producing if i wasn't proactive enough to ask for what i need and like you to to step out of it if if it's not going to be comfortable for me and that's what i'd like to talk about for just a moment how to be proactive you've already talked about doing things where you can say i'm not going to tolerate this it's not set up for me i'm not going to stay what are other kinds of things we can do to to kind of lift our voices and get people to kind of think about uh, uh, how to build establishments or create things that are more fat friendly. Well, I just always, you know, make sure that, um, you know, like the man, maybe I would maybe, you know, just say something to the manager or just be like, you know, I, I'm very, I'm very upfront about my size. I don't hide my size. I don't pretend I'm a 12 when I'm a 28. You know, I don't pretend I weigh 250 pounds, but I weigh 350 pounds. I'm extremely upfront with my size, and, um, you know, I'm not rude or hateful about it. I'm just a matter of fact that, you know, your establishment is not made for people um, of size, and um, this is not comfortable for me. I don't, you know, maybe you need to pull in other types of chairs that will be more comfortable for a plus size person, you know, I would just be very respectful about it, but firm, because this is what I'm about, is that um, you're going to cater to all the other people for everything else, then why don't you cater to overweight people, plus size people, BBWs, whatever you want to be called. Um, You know, I would just say something, because, you know, I just, I don't, you know, I just, I'm very open about it, you know, and, and, and my rights to um, be the size that I am. That's great. So I think what, what what I what I appreciate about you is you're very upfront, you're very forthright, and I think as more of us become that way, uh, maybe we can get things changed. So Kelly, I really appreciate you talking about this topic. I, I hope it's of some use to other folks. I know that plenty of of uh, heavy people, plus size people, all, all experience these kind of things as well. So. Um, Hopefully we're getting folks to at least uh, know that they're not alone. All right. So thanks for being here with me. Thanks for doing such a great job with your YouTube channel. And I'm sure we'll make more and more of these type of videos as well.